Um, so thanks everyone for uh, coming in. Um, while this might not be uh, exactly breaking news, uh, it is significant uh, for us. So we are today announcing that Steve will coach the All Blacks for the next three years, so he'll take us through to uh, 2015 Rugby World Cup as our head coach, and for us that's outstanding news. Um, that decision has been made following a very thorough review of 2012, uh, which the board uh, had the final presentation on that a um, week or so ago, and uh, made a unanimous decision to, to offer Steve uh, an extension, which he has gladly accepted, and we're very, very pleased. So, um, personal congratulations to, uh, to Steve on his appointment. I think he had an outstanding year last year in the role of head coach. Um, his coaching and leadership helped the team build on what is a pretty exceptional legacy this team has and a record that's pretty hard to improve on, but in actual fact they did. Firstly, you know, obviously uh, when I took this job on, I never um, took it as, as my right to be uh, sitting here uh, with an extended contract. So I'm, I feel rather privileged uh, to be given that opportunity. Uh, I'd like to, to thank uh, the Rugby Union and the board uh, firstly, for the support and confidence they've shown in myself and Darren. Uh, I'd also like to thank my family, uh, Tash and all our kids. Um, without the sacrifices that they make and the love and support we get, uh, you just couldn't do this job because you're away from home so often. So big thank you to them. Um, there's some massive challenges and you know the, the biggest one, I guess, is to recapture uh, the William Webb Ellis Trophy in 2015. But in the meantime, we're still expected to win test matches. So we've got to make sure that we, we don't just consolidate from where we were yet. Last year was a good year, uh, but we've got to keep moving forward, growing ourselves, uh, particularly our game, uh, so we can stay in front. Uh, it's been well publicised that we've got an ageing leadership group, and it's been that leadership group uh, who have been able to make the big decisions the right decisions in the big moments and, and critical test matches. So we need to look to grow those people with, so they can be supported. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people in the group uh, who want to, to be in that next uh, World Cup squad, and some of them aren't going to make it. Uh, but it won't prevent them from trying. But we need to be able to make sure that we've got our balance right in our selections over the next two to three years, uh, that if they don't make it, then we've got the right people in place uh, to be able to take their place and, and make those decisions and, and produce the rugby performance that we're after. Uh, clearly, we're, we're a team uh, that looks to perform on Saturdays. Uh, last year, we are very happy with our intensity, um, but as I said previously, we have to grow that, and, and that's all about stimulation and having fun during the week and the right balance. Um, Chewie's mentioned that you know, we'll be going through and contracting the rest of the group and, and they are just as important to us as uh, myself and Shandy. Um, the last thing I think we need to be aware of is that uh, right here and now we're going into a three test match series which is against one of our toughest opponents, uh, France. They always seem to be able to get up, particularly when they've been down and they just come off a, a pretty ordinary Six Nations. So that's when they'll be at their most dangerous. And we're going to a rugby championship where I think Australia and, and uh, South Africa are going to be a lot stronger than they were last year. So uh, we've got some tough uh, things ahead of us and we're really looking forward to those challenges as a group. And myself particularly looking forward to it. So thank you.